All right, hello and welcome back to Macross 1.5. This will be episode three, uh, four if you count the introduction, but three of the actual gameplay. I am your game master, Paul Marquez. Back with us again, Major Medina and hey, Wes. Hey, everybody. Welcome back, sir. How's it hey. going, guys? I'm doing great. <laughs> Fantastic. It's been yeah. great. I've had a like super busy week, so I'm great. I'm like super stoked to be here once again. Excellent, excellent. I'm happy and to be well. <laughs> Wes, you had you had a little announcement. Yeah, I've got some news. Uh, I just want to let everybody know that uh, since the last time we talked about sort of uh, where I can be found uh, online, uh, I've gotten my branding <laughs> straightened out, and now I am Fandom Power or the Fandom Power Podcast across the board. So, uh, just like it says there on your screen, you can find me at the Fandom Power Podcast on YouTube now, and my shiny brand new youtube channel so i'd love it if you guys came over uh dropped in a subscription there and stuck around for some of the uh, awesome content that we have over there like the current obi-wan kenobi review series that we're doing right now Woo! i listened to a little bit last week and oh, thank you very I, much it was pretty awesome thank you all right gentlemen yeah. well let us get started then so when we last left off wes you had just left the hospital yeah, time okay. to head back to quarters. Elwood, Elwood had left the hospital, heading back to quarters because you guys had been, uh, what, restricted? Restricted, is, is that what he said? Uh, confined, confined. Confined to quarters uh, because of the bar fight. The next couple of days all happen in a blur. Because everything is happening, so, or, or because the, the launch of the SDF-1 is approaching, you get like a quick military trial right away. You guys are called in, and during the, 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 the trial, the guy from Vulture Squad comes in, and he tries to make himself act all victim-y and, and sad, and he's like, and, and, and then uh, you know, his lawyer is like, so who pointed the gun at your head? And he points to you, Wes, and he's like, he came, and he held his gun right to my head, and I thought I was going to die at that moment. And the court is like, whoa, and everyone gets all like, woo. And then, uh, you know, during cross-examination, the lawyer is like, what made you think there was a threat that you had to hold a gun to his head? Well, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't actually uh, hold my firearm uh, to his head. Uh, when I came around the corner and I observed the members of Vulture Squad uh, roughing up a civilian female, uh, I actually, in light of the uh, recent events on the base, mistook them to be imposters. And so I drew my sidearm as a matter of self-defense and tried to, uh, to bring them into custody. Okay. So then uh, the, the, the lawyer guy says, so even if that was true, the moment they turned around, you didn't recognize who it was, that they weren't the imposters, the, these so-called imposters you speak of now. Not a whole lot of people know of this imposter you're looking for. Remember, that's DL. So you see a lot of people kind of raise an eyebrow, like, what is he talking about? Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but yeah, but the lawyer goes on with that questioning of, like, you didn't know that this was Vulture Squad the moment you saw them? And he goes, now I understand. Both parties were involved in, and now he's point, looking at the judge, and he goes, both parties were involved in... Um, you know, this fight and this illegal activity, but once, you know, soldiers, soldiers fight. And the moment you saw it was them, you thought to put your gun to his head. As I said before, I didn't raise my firearm to anybody's head. There was the length of an entire hallway between us, at least six feet. And as I had said before, in my previous testimony, the members of vulture squad were, getting physical with a civilian female. And even though I did recognize them, I was obligated to act on her behalf. Okay. So he's like, no further questions, your honor. So you guys sit down, right? Then uh, Abe gets up on the stand, right? And they, they ask him a little bit about what was happening. And he's like, yes. He goes, I did lock uh, Sergeant Periwinkle in the locker room, but it was just a bit of fraternization teasing. You know, we were, I didn't, I never at any point locked the freezer. We were just, you know, he's made fun of me. We are, you know, we've made fun of each other. So 
being that known that now now that we know that he's assigned to Alaska base, I thought it funny to haze him a little bit and put him in the locker. I didn't we weren't going to leave him there very long. All of a sudden we turn around and assess a threat of a gun. He held it right to my man's head. He had his his trigger pulled back. But he does says, you know, he pulled the hammer back and so we had to take action. And at that <clears> point <throat> Then I was assaulted by Sergeant um, Perry Winkle, and the rest is history. Okay, and so they go they go back and forth, and pretty much he says basically, "Who are you going to?" You know, at a point, at this point, it becomes a he said, she said, or he said, he said kind of thing, mm. and we, you know, Vulture Squadron has been you know was able to be assigned to the SDF one, and they weren't. So whose side are you going to pick? If they've already made that kind of character uh, determination for the ship, why would that be any different here? So, Lieutenant Gray comes up, okay, and Colonel Maestroff comes up, and is in his gravelly voice, he's like, "We don't have time to deal with any of this," and he's like, "So, here's here is my verdict: um, Vulture Squad, you guys will go with the ship, and." You're out of out of our problems here. And then he looks over at, at you, Mage, and he goes, You, Sergeant Periwinkle, you and Corporal Pratt will finish out your duties here. As soon as Macross is cleared, you will report to the new RDF penitentiary at uh, Gila Bend, Arizona, where you will serve 12 months hard time. And then at that point, will determine whether or not, you know, what the, what the next part is of your military careers. Is that understood? I have to object to that. <laughs> You're a Gila Ben. Fuck, that, that's cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> is that <in> Maricopa County? <laughs> wow. Detention barracks for 12 months. And he's like dismissed. Uh, and that's the end. Hey, Steve. Yeah. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> right. That is a, 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 a horse load of bullshit right there. <laughs> fucking Maestroff. I hope he goes on the SDF one. <laughs> so hey so Ruben side, comes up. And it's he, not Ru Alaska. Ruben, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's you, you've obviously not been to Gila Bend, Arizona, have you? <laughs> Dude, I've been living in Canada. And uh, well, my character's been living in Australia right up until he joined the RDF. So. So Ruben comes up, right? And he's like, the Lord tells me he can get me out of this, but he's pretty sure you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys Ruben, go out. you are so helpful, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. So you guys exit. Now you're all in your military shiny dress outfit. Yeah, yeah, dress uniforms, okay? You guys go out and uh, Vanessa stops you, Okay. And she's, she's got a disappointed look on her face, but she's like, okay, well, I think our only chance at redemption here is to find out, to, to get this guy. So he said to carry out your orders as given here, and your orders have been, let's find this guy. So my understanding was, I mean, give me some good news, guys. You found something, right? Yeah, I got an address. And she goes, you're shitting me. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not. I, I got an address before the bullshit with vulture nuts broke out. <laughs> I got a, I mean, I, I won't tell you how I got it, but the point is I got it. And, uh, I think it's legit I, and it's worth following up. Okay. She's all then do it and report back any success and you yes, guys need success. Yes, ma'am. All right, so she she right. leaves, and now it's just you guys there. Well, listen, okay. I don't think it's uh, I don't think showing up in our best bib and Tucker is going to do us any good, uh, Steve. Maybe we should uh, ditch the uh, ditch the uh, the monkey suits and uh, freshen up, get something a little more comfortable. I think it's the only way to go, and we got a time, right? We're on the clock yeah. here. <laughs> yes. Well, definitely. I mean, uh, works, but. We're expected to report to detention barracks in uh, how long? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting on about a week now. Yeah, so we got to wrap this up. Absolutely. So we got an address, right? 
Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's get out of these and uh, let's do a little recon. Yeah. 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 Um, I would say at this point, uh, I just have a question uh, because we are awaiting sentencing or we have been sentenced. Um, what is our status uh, in the military currently? We are, we are like not serving anymore. No, no, no. It's a weird, it's a weird status because it's yeah. a pen, it's pending punishment. So right okay. now it's like, if nothing happened and then it would right. once, once McCross leaves, you're, you're assigned to a, a, a different place who has sure. on paper. This is when you guys start your in okay. trouble. All right. Sure. Okay. Well, then I would say let's go and get changed. And uh, I'm packing my sidearm with me. I'm not going without it. Oh, absolutely. We got our sidearms. We got our, uh, uh, what is it? Um, combat knives. Combat got knife? Dakota yep. ring. <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you guys are all weaponed up. You know, as weaponed up as you can be on the base. Yeah. Right. You guys are not even on the base. Yeah. The whole city was a base, right? So. You guys go out there, and sure enough, this this apartment is as far away from the SDF-1 and all that part as it can be, okay? So you get there, and you get to the apartment, and the streets are pretty empty. Yeah, you're, so you're standing out in front of the apartment building now. It's about a three-story building. It would, if, if you're looking at it, it's got like one, two, three on the third floor, one, mm -hmm. two, three windows on the second floor, yeah. one, two, three windows on the, third, on the, on the, on the ground, ground floor. floor. Okay. What's well, the time of day? Roughly? it's roughly about two in the afternoon okay <laughs> we were tried in the morning <laughs> that was quick <laughs> okay so i i say we stake out one one in the uh opposing uh apartment up on top of the roof and one on street level and do well, we listen, have a way to communicate with each other i got the shit beat out of me in the bar uh last night and i may or may <laughs> not be sporting some uh <laughs> some bruises over that so maybe i should be not the face of this well let's let, let's have you not the face of the operation <laughs> but uh also can you make it up three flights of stairs <laughs> <laughs> uh maybe <laughs> okay so i do want to observe this place for about uh maybe one or two hour okay just just observing because you guys have the actual uh, um apartment number like you yeah. know what this we guy's know. yeah Right, and so, so we, we can determine from the outside what that uh, that uh, outward facing maybe patio is. Okay, and so from so one of you goes in and kind of looks around and then walks back out. Okay, and from the street, it is the last window on the right on the third floor. Okay, so you've got the one, two, three, one, yeah. two, three. Okay, yep. so you guys wait, and you wait, and you wait, and nothing. Like, you know, people come, people come in and out. Nobody sure. goes to that door. Yeah, nothing suspicious happens other than just people bringing groceries into their apartments, but nobody, nobody to that particular one. Okay. And how I'm long, how go long grab did you want to wait for? Uh, it was two hours. Uh, not a great plan considering it's the middle of the day. I wanted to see if a light went off and then we yeah, could observe yeah. anybody coming out. But at this point, I'm going to go get a pizza. <laughs> and I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock on the door like I'm delivering it to that apartment. I want to get a view of uh, if there's anybody inside and uh, what they look like. Okay, and this is Macross, so there is pizza delivery. You grab Absolutely. a pizza; it's no big deal. You go up. You know, a few, a few people look at you, kind of smile because it's like nothing out of the ordinary. You knock on, on that door around the dinner hour too. Knock on that door. Nothing. Nothing. All right. So again, I have a way of uh, communicating with uh, Wes, right? Yeah, yes. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Elwood. Okay, we're gonna have to break in. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> so three flights of stairs. <laughs> All right. So Look, somebody needs to across. stand. <clears throat> somebody needs to stand. Uh, you know, at the stairs to uh, give an alert if somebody's coming. Although I don't really know what that means because <laughs> who knows <laughs> who knows <laughs> what this person looks like. The person really and or persons. Man. But uh Well remember, you know what he looks we like. We did see him. Yes. We did see yeah, him. It true, was a far true. away, but we did see him. But, okay. but 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 Mage, in the idea of like you have to be ready for anything, 
it yeah. could be anybody, you know, like, right. who, you know what I'm saying? If anyone comes to this apartment and it's not the guy, there's still an issue, you know? So I'll tell you what, why doesn't one of us hang out at the second floor? If anybody starts making their way up the third floor, we alert and whoever's inside gets out. Now, how are we going to get inside this, uh, this apartment? Oh man. Um, can we try the old credit card in the door jam trick? Yes, you can. Gonna have to give it a shot. All right, we'll try it. I pull out my uh, uh, Macrosta card. <laughs> <laughs> now, again, Visa, they get everywhere. <laughs> again, I, you know, Wes's face is a little worse for wear. So maybe you break in and I'll keep watch. Yeah, because okay. you might be a little bit more recognizable. Also, I look like a total sketch bag right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine yeah. we're we're all in our uh, we're both in our Marvel uh, our Marvel <laughs> can't be noticed outfit, which is just like a hoodie <laughs> and a baseball hat, right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> So uh, let's both break in, and then I'll go station myself over at the second stoop. Okay. Uh, assuming there's no elevators in this, in this complex. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, let's um, do it. Let's so that in. with the understanding that if somebody does start coming up, just get out. doesn't matter who it is, male, female, or otherwise. Uh, All right. Yes, we're going to try to pick the lock. Uh, I think so, yeah. Vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Visa. Okay. So who is picking the Credit lock? now. Oh, I guess I'll take a I'll take a crack at it. All right, what skill are you I'm, using uh, up front? I'm gonna try out with my. Uh, whew, I'm gonna use the smooth method because this is gonna take a bit of finesse to get this in there. Uh, maybe maybe that's more angelic grace. I don't know. Maybe it's both. I don't know. Uh, no, it's probably angelic grace. I think that's more accurate because there, there is a fine technique involved in, in doing this to actually trip the mechanism and not destroy it and the credit card. A deft hand. I get it. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, Mage, I don't think there's any assisting on this because Doesn't it's just like it. do it or don't, you know? Yep. Yeah. Wes, you need two successes. Two successes. All right. On, and, on, and you're on hindrance. Because oh, need sixes. Okay. Because you're no lock lock smith. Yeah, no, you know? I'm definitely not a smith. All right. Here we go. Uh, that's a wash. That's a nope. zero successes. Okay. So you're picking, 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 and your card actually yeah. slips through and is now in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Steve. I, yeah. Steve. Yeah. What's up? I lost the card. You did what now? <laughs> well, I'm sure it was, wasn't in a card with your. I'm sure it was a card without with your name on it, though, right? Do, do, do you think I carry other people's <laughs> financial information on in my wallet? It's well, mine. A bitch. All right, all right. I'm gonna have to give it a shot here. <laughs> Keep watching. Keep watching. Yeah. All right. I am going to attempt. Then do it. Do it. <laughs> I just have no idea what skill to use. Well. Let us see. At this point, I'm almost going to say wing in a prayer. <laughs> uh, because that seems to be as about equal to close quarters as I can possibly get. Uh, okay. I got some desperation on my side here. I, uh, I guess you're desperate, right? Especially yeah. now that Wes dropped his yep. credit card that also has his phone number, address, uh, and court <laughs> date. Reason. Court date taped to it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the money attached to that thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, we're running out of time. I, I got to go wing in a prayer. Okay. So uh, so as soon as you start to put the, the the card down, somebody's like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" Wow. <laughs> um. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you, okay. Uh, so, uh, so you turn around. So you so you turn around, right? And there's kind of this guy, and he's a short, chubby guy, balding, and his his t-shirt is like it won't it doesn't cover his entire belly, you know? And so yep. he walks over. He's in flip flops, and he walks over to you guys, right? And he's all, 
You're going to mess up my locks. What's wrong with you? Just let me know. You're the cable guys, right? <laughs> yes. yes. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. We we uh, He goes, "Is that a pizza?" Oh, hey, absolutely. Yeah, are you is. are you hungry? <laughs> He's like, "Me, I like the pizza." <laughs> Listen, I mean, uh it, we we thought we'd have dinner while we worked. But you know what? I I don't know about you, Steve. I'm not that hungry. Maybe uh listen, man, you do us a solid and we could go and fix the cable. And I mean, this I think this pizza probably uh it's still hot. Yeah, it eats itself. Look, uh, we've been trying to get into this uh place for I, I don't know, weeks, right? Right? And they're just apparently never home. Do you go any idea what these guys' schedules are? And he's like so he kind of like that, right? So he looks down at the pizza box. And uh, I open it up and <laughs> say, see? And so he's like, and he Still, grabs a bit. <laughs> he grabs friend, my friend. <laughs> he grabs a piece finished. and he starts eating and he's like, mm, from my favorite spot. And then he, <laughs> and so he looks at you and he goes, this is a guy, he's a weird. He's never home. Don't know why. Uh, back and forth. Hear him late at night. And he's all, but, uh, you know, he pays the rent. And then he, so he pulls out this chain of keys and he goes through about four keys before he gets the right one. And he's all, there you go. And he's all, you just a tell a Pepe. You let, whatever you need, you come to him, but do not break my locks. Pepe, and then he goes, absolutely, and, buddy. and he goes, and don't a break. And then he looks down and he sees the credit card. And he goes, what? Huh? You know, from the, from the open door, right? Yeah. Yep. So he picks it up and he's like, oh. Pepe must have turned this in. Hmm. And he starts to walk away. <laughs> this oh, is Pepe. Good. Pepe, buddy. <laughs> you forgot the pizza. But the other thing is, is that, uh, you know, that credit card, I'm sure that credit card is just, you know, something that was dropped on the way out. We'll just put it on the counter. We'll leave a little notes. No big deal. Uh, here, you, you take the rest of the pie. It's on us. And he goes, like, his eyes open up, and he's like, huh, good deal? Can't argue. And he hands you the card, grabs the pizza, and he walks away chewing on pizza. Pepe, you're a good man. <laughs> Making loud swallowing noises. <laughs> right. <sighs> All right, Wes. Uh, I'm sorry, Elwood. <laughs> yeah. We got limited time, buddy. Okay, I'm just going to put that in my wallet and never look at it again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> limited time. I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> You take the no, North. No, no, yeah, it was as good an effort as any. You know, <laughs> that's what you were yeah. thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You take the North sector. I'll take the South sector. Gotcha. Let's just rummage through this place as quickly as we can. Are we tossing the place, or are we going to be like discreet about it? Let's please be discreet. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you guys look. Oh, so okay. Investigation. So, um, so through our phases right now, we are in our support phases. Is someone going to do the searching and someone support? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you guys going to do? I, this, I know it gets weird here, but it. Sure. I sure. think at this point, it, it's kind of the, it's the, it's on a sliding scale. Like one was going in the building. One was watching from across the street. Now one yes. is searching the appointment, the, the appointment, the apartment. One of us should be watching from the door uh, for hallway traffic. You know, or if you're both searching the apartment, like one of you can be yeah. at a different angle saying, hey, you know, check this as, a, as opposed to to doing the actual digging of yeah. go, going through stuff. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To be okay. like offering some encouragement. Hey, did yes. you check here? Did you check there? Look, Elwood, your you're, uh, you're eyes a little uh, closed up there. Let me go ahead and Still check. Why don't, you, why don't you support me out uh, while we while we ransack this place okay again discreetly okay all right all right so that sounds like an assist to me wes give him an assist what skill you're using uh well uh we're definitely close enough uh while i'm kind of like giving him sort of like the the whole pointer like hey man did you check there i'm still kind of looking around and being sort of observant so this is definitely a, a cover your buddy situation as far as i'm concerned I agree. Also, because you're kind of like watching the door too to see yep. if anyone else comes around. Yep. Okay. Cover your buddy. Here we go. You're on normal. Normal. Okay. That is three successes, sir. 
Bam. All right. Mage, you are investigating. What do you roll? Or what do you right. use? So grand presence with intention, uh, attention and recognition. Attention, meaning that that's drawing attention to you. Oh, okay. Okay. Then uh, we're moving over to uh, counter position with respond and recognize. Oh, that's the cost, isn't it? Uh, I'm thinking close quarters, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. You're right. You're on normal. All right. What does that mean? I'm on normal. Um, if you look at the on your character sheet, you'll see where uh -huh. success is. There's advantage, edge, normal, hindrance, and disadvantage. So, so the, the the results of your dice change from successes to not, depending on your oh. advantage, edge, normal. Do, do okay. you see it? Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm rolling just two. A fancy way for telling us how difficult the task is. I suppose. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I'm rolling two. Yeah. Yes, sir. Two successes or four successes. Fuck, two sixes. <clears throat> no bullshit. S four, seven. <laughs> oh, I, I believe you. <laughs> so seven, <laughs> seven total successes, right? Yep. Because yep. I got three. Okay. So you I'm guys wrap dig. Up and get another pizza. You guys dig, dig, dig. And eventually you get to this one place on the floorboard, right? And you poke it and like, okay, so you know how a floorboard is like, like this on the board. On the floor. Oh, God damn it. Where's the goddamn camera? And when you step, when you push it, it comes yeah. up like that Ooh, nice. and, and reveals a small but secret compartment. All right. So we pull sure. up that floorboard. Okay. Pull up that floor, floorboard. There's yeah. a little uh, lock box in there. Lock box. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of... Uh... What kind of lock we're talking about here? You know, one of those little like 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 where 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 a company would keep their uh, cash on hand or what is it called a, a petty a cash? cash? A little yeah, cash box. Oh, you okay. can open those with a butter knife. Yes, yes. All right, so let's open this thing up with a butter knife. <laughs> okay, who's opening it? Uh, you found it, man. Yeah, you, yeah I'm, I'm believe, gonna go ahead and open it. I believe Sorry, the, the honor is yours. Yeah, can I have your credit card? <laughs> no, you can borrow my knife. Here, you can borrow my knife. <laughs> so I'm more, I, yeah, opening it uh, what, with my knife. What skill do you use? <clears throat> and you need two successes. Close quarters. Yeah. I, I would have to agree. He's right there in front of you, right? Let's go. Two successes. Six and a four. Okay. As you're you're picking the lock, right? You mm -hmm. you you pick pick pick, and you pick the lock, and a little needle comes out and picks you right on the on your on your finger on the tip of your finger, just enough to draw blood. That's a long needle, bitch. Dude, are you okay? I you know what? I don't know. I think I have Hep C now. <laughs> you know, oh my god, I have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be more worried that you've just been like poisoned or okay. worse. So okay. yeah. Literally, Mage, I've just been picked. Immediately, yeah. you start to start so to sweat. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, okay, so my uh, 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 yeah, what's it called? Uh, the, the 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 system I immediately which take regulates belt. your. Go ahead. <laughs> take belt off my pants and I I rig a tourniquet at his elbow as hard as I can. <laughs> so so Elwood starts to take off his belt and you're like, not now is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> It's either but, that or, you know, a <laughs> towel or something in the apartment, but that right, came right. to mind. Tourniquet, right? Yep. All right. A tourniquet on that. Okay. So, yeah. so yeah. I, I got sweat forming on my brow here. What, what's going on? My, my, uh, uh, whatever system can't think right now. <laughs> so, Mage, you're like, and you look up, okay? And, and you, you kind of freeze up like that. Wes, you look back yeah. to what Major's looking at, and in the yeah. doorway, Robert's standing there. And he bolts. The dude from the, the tower, from That's the pole. Him. That's the guy. That's him. Mage, put, you're in no shape to run. Not not to put too much on you, Wes, but get him. Avenge me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that. That's two now, Wes. You, you, <laughs> you've got two people you got to avenge now. <laughs> One hand don't on worry about pants. me. Don't worry about me. All right. Follow him. Go. Jason. Okay. 
So you bolt after him and you're yep. just all boom, 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 going, okay? Yep. And um Mage, you're start you you you're 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 sweaty, you're you're not feeling super hot, okay? Right. Uh just imagine you ate like Juanita's canned uh menudo and it's fucking horrible. <laughs> you know, and you're like, whoa. Um, but you've still got your wits about you and this open box in front of you now. Okay. So we investigate the box. Okay. So you start looking through it, right? Mm -hmm. You open it up and you see a map, you know, a map of the South Pacific open, you know, is, is there. And from what the coordinate, the one coordinate you got from, remember from the, from the radio on adventure number one, right? You see that coordinate and a cross coordinate of a small island about a hundred miles away from a cross. Okay. But it, you know, it looks important and it, you basically, you pretty much are sure you found what this coordinate's about. Okay. In, in what direction is it uh, from across? Uh, like across west, northwest. Okay. All right. Just so I can have that in my head. All right. Um, I. I, am I in a condition to do anything like maybe make a note? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. You're okay because you have you had seven successes, so the trap got you, but you're you're fighting it. You're you're within your norm. You know, you're going to be like, for a moment. You're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But then you're like, okay, I've got this. I think I'm okay. Like it barely, barely got you, just enough to throw you off. But okay. Well, That's well, this stash uh, house. This stash house is done, right? We've been spotted inside of it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and grab whatever's inside there. It's the uh, genuine Saskatchewan sealskin belt saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 Made with real seal eyes, baby <laughs> seal eyes. They can make leather out of that. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to stash it and I'm going to try to, yeah, I'm basically going to try to exit out. Okay. So you get out, right? And you're, you're, you're kind of holding the walls, but you have the stuff. I look um, like that dude at the end of the aha video, right? <laughs> right. And, and Pe Pepe is like, you know, he comes back up and he's all, what's the matter with you? You don't look so good. Hey, you man, don't drink don't... enough the water, and he's hands exactly. you exactly. <laughs> he hands exactly you a bottle. He hands you a bottle of water, okay? But when you get it, you can see pizza sauce on the rim because he's been drinking from it. You know what? Pepe <laughs> seems like an upstanding dude. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go ahead and drink that water. <laughs> Just sift it through your tooth. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 two front teeth are a live straw. <laughs> All right, so Wes, you bolt down yeah, after this down guy, this okay? Time. Now, he's no Jesse Owens, but you're like, damn, this guy's fast. So he gets out the door, turns left, yep, yep. you follow, you jump down, he turns into an alley, you turn that alley, he's nowhere to be seen, and you see three things. A yep. ladder going up the roof, yep. a dumpster, yep. and a manhole. Is the manhole open like the it, cover is off it is not it's not flip the lid to the dumpster okay you just walk up and flip it yep uh <laughs> wait <laughs> this gets me this gets me into trouble every time however it's warranted in this time draw sidearm then flip the lid <laughs> that's a good idea <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right so you're like click click you flip the lid and you're like <gasps> And all of a sudden, some cat is all, Ring! and it jumps out. <laughs> you got a oh, jump scare. <laughs> all right. Not in the dumpster. Is the guy, first of all, is the guy in the dumpster? Like, I, I take a look around. There's only one bag in the dumpster. A oh, you know, okay. so, so there's nowhere for him to hide all right. well, in the dumpster. The manhole cover was not off, so he didn't go down the, the hole. So he's got to well, be up. Well, well, well. Okay, well, let's okay take a look at the manhole cover. Any something going on with that? Okay, so you get to the manhole cover, right? What do you yeah. do with it? I'm observe it first. I mean, it's either on or a a jar or. Okay. So it it looks. I mean, it's on. It's 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 a manhole cover. 
you know, I'll give I'll give it a kick with my my shoe. Give okay. it a little tap. It moves like oh, surprisingly like a... easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's not expected. Uh, can we get that out of the way? Is that removable? So when you pick it up, it's yeah. almost made like a rub out of a rubberish oh, foam. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So before I go underground, because this is where shit always happens in the movies, <laughs> I radio my partner and I'm like, in the alleyway, manhole cover now. Okay. So Mage, your mind is playing tricks on you. Okay. <laughs> and all of a sudden you hear God saying, Ali, uh, manhole, you know, and you're like, Jesus? <laughs> Allie manhole, I will find her. <laughs> no, but so yeah, so so Wes is on the radio. You're yeah. you're you're muddling through the fog, but he gets he gets on the radio with you. Okay. Awesome. So Wes, you tell him manhole. Go for periwinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you made he got away from me. He's in this alleyway. He went down a manhole. Alleyway, uh, yeah, yeah. Which way out of the door? Right? Out of the uh, door of the apartment. Uh, left. First alley, second alley. First alley on the left. On my Ma way, Mage. You're in no condition, man. Like you're like. I know, but I want to be uh, supportive. You know. Uh, yeah, but you're going to give this guy time to get away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this, this is the I'm telling you where I am, so you can come and bail my ass out because I'm going in. Oh, okay. So so in. you're okay. so this is where I'm going then. Right, like well, you're you're jumping in. When I realize that he's down the hole, I get on the radio to say I've lost him down this hole. I'm going in, but he needs Steve Sergeant Periwinkle needs to know where I am because so, somebody's got to come get me. Gotcha, gotcha. If I don't get out of this, all right. Do you need backup? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I am no I am no backup, but I will call uh, Macross uh, uh, Services. Okay, and I'll uh, I'll go down the ladder. Okay, so you're like you don't even go down the ladder. You just jump down. So you do splash. The Jim, Jim Kirk uh, slide yeah. in there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you splash into about uh, halfway of your shin deep water. Oh boy! Mm. And you start to go, and from and down yeah. the, the the way you can see him, his shadow going. Okay. Is there like, uh, I mean, I, I've seen lots of Ninja Turtle stuff. Is there that little like walkway on the side of the water or is it like, no, you're just in it? No. Yeah. You're just in, you're in oh. a tube with a water about not, not, not even a third, just up to your shin, you know, yeah. as far as depth, but, it, but it's a round tube water and you're walking through it and it's kind of slippery because it's mossy and who knows what you're stepping yeah, in right sewer, now. Sure. So good Lord. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give chase. I'm going to give chase. Uh, I'm going to try to. Pepe is above you letting win out. <laughs> You're like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, All right. So you give chase. Yeah. Okay. So you're like, boom, 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 yeah, running, yeah. running, running. Okay. So you're, you luckily you're like hap or to your surprise, to your surprise, you're sure, making yeah. good ground on him. I am, okay. Uh, okay. I am catching. All right. So you're like, boom, boom, boom. Okay. So he stops. He turns around. He yep. raises up and he engages. Okay. <sighs> it's never a good day when you're getting shot at. Okay, so he is. We are skipping the support phase. There is no support. Yes, um, so he is attacking and defending. Okay. What, this sir, are you doing? Uh, I am actually going to. I want to bring this guy in. I don't want to kill him. So first thing, I don't want to get shot. So I either I either hit the water or I grab a, a piece of the the wall, whichever I. You know what? I think in this case, I don't want to go into the water either because then I got to get back up. Hug the wall, trying to dodge the bullet. Then I'm going to return fire and try and, and put one into a leg. All right. So you are attacking and defending as well. I am, sir. Yes, I. Okay. Am. So both of us have synergy. Okay. Let's roll for it. Oh, oh, synergy. wait. What skills? What skills are you using? Uh, in this case, wow. Um, this is a this is a very reactionary fluid situation that where uh, it, time is kind of crunching. So I feel like this is kind of a flash move. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can totally agree with that. Okay. And what about what about defense? Uh, defensively, it's kind of uh, you know getting into uh, make making myself the smallest profile that I can be and hugging the wall. Um, and I don't think there's any, you know, 
super duper good way to do this. I don't think it's very angelic because it's just too panicked for that. It's also not very smooth, so it's not really a smooth method. Maybe it's a flash move. Flash move? Like <laughs> Un unpredictable speedy? short range? I, I, I can totally agree with that. Yep. Okay. So, so, so what's your total dice roll for that? It would be six, but I burn out at... Uh, five. Five, so I will restrict it down to the, uh, the five dice. Again, let's talk about that for a second. What is the penalty for taking the burnout? Okay, so once, when, when you take burnout... When yeah. you take enough of them, you start to take wounds. You actually get hurt. Yes. You know what? This actually seems like one of those times where the 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 cost reward is justifiable. We need to bring this guy in. Works for me. So I will go all the way, and that becomes a six dice uh, roll for me. Uh, I'll add one more, one more dice to my pool. All right. So. Oh, and this is on normal, by the way. Uh, normal. Uh, that is a six, and that is a five, and that is it. So okay. six and a five on normal. That gives me one, two, three successes, sir. Okay, so he's got one success to his attack. Okay. So as long as you spend one success toward your de uh, da or defense, you're good. Oh, okay, perfect. So, yes, I will do that. One to the defense and two to the attack. Huh. Okay, so he's like, bam! It bounces off the wall. You see the spark. You're like, ha! Yeah. You fire back. Yeah. You hit him twice. Once in the shoulder. Once a little bit low, like on the breast area. God, that's not a leg. <laughs> he hits the ground. I just don't want it to be lethal. Gets back up and he starts God. hobbling away. Okay. Well, I guess well, I'm going to continue at a much him. at a much slower rate. By oh, the way. Right. So at this point, uh, as I continue the chase, drop the weapon. Stop. Drop your gun. Stop. Okay. So you're running going, stop, stop, damn it. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, Mage, what are, you, what are you doing now? At this point, I was calling uh, 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 Macross uh, Police Services. Or the okay. Mm. So what about Vanessa? Maybe call her because she's like your Lisa oh. Hayes? That, that, would, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're like one eight hundred Vanessa, and she's just call, like, "Call the Jag that just sentenced us. He'd love pick to hear up from the you right phone." <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call Jen Jenny. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Vanessa Who picks up and, turn to? And, and she's all periwinkle. Tell me you got good news. Okay, I have decent news at this point. Uh, from what I understand, uh, we've okay. Uh, I All of a sudden, her face goes off the screen, right? And okay. it's Maestroff. And he goes, Periwinkle, your squadron was supposed to uh, meet up with the bio maintenance engineers. I don't know if that's what they're called just yet, but the people taking care of your Veritex, and you're not there. Maestroff, I understand. Okay, uh, but... Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You're about to tell me an excuse, right? Colonel, I am not. Get uh, to your no Veritech excuse. now. I am and unavailable then, for my Veritech. At and then the screen goes blank. Uh, <laughs> oh, can I call the MPs now? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so do you call the MPs? I do. Okay, so you get, you know, some MP gets on there, and he's like, uh, you know, this is a restricted channel. You give your codes, and he's like, okay, what's going on, Sergeant Periwinkle? Okay, uh, so we have a, uh, I have a team member who is en route uh, chasing after a uh, potential suspect, went down into the, and I give the location uh, of, a, uh, of a sewer. He's in pursuit right now and needs immediate backup if at all possible i am incapable of doing so at this moment <laughs> so he's i may, all, may not have been drugged <laughs> he goes who is this <laughs> 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 no okay but you know in a very non-caring type of way he sure. goes okay periwinkle we will get on that um you know response time probably about 17 minutes this is an immediate assistance situation. Okay, so he looks down, right? And then he goes like that. And he goes, Sergeant Periwinkle, 
You've been ordered to get to your Veritex right now, or we are to arrest you. Get to your Veritex. And Understood. He <laughs> <laughs> and he hangs up. Well, nothing I can do uh, <laughs> but uh, attempt to get to my Veritex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you start to head toward the airbase, okay? okay? It's not that far. And like I said, you're you're not a hundred percent impaired. Right. You're you're not a hundred percent, but you're you're okay. You know, you're so you start to stagger your way over there. Maybe okay. I can do something with that. So Wes, you get over yeah. there, okay? Now, all of a sudden from this sewer, you can see now where it dumps into the ocean, okay? Oh, okay. And so, so it's like this, like this, like a like a flat plane where you're yep. walking through a yep. big circle, and then you see the ocean out there. Yeah. And he's dropped down. Okay. And now he's you see himself his out the end. Well, he didn't do a, a fugitive. He just kind of jumped. So it's not like it dumps into the ocean. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So Wes, you see his blood on the side of the wall. Yep. You get right to the edge and you yep. get blasted back because oh. you see the ass end of a fan jet taking Come off. On. Uh, you dirty, dirty Robert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back to my radio and I call back to Steve. Uh, I'm, I apparently I'm at some junction where the where the system enters out into the uh, out to the edge of the uh, the ocean, you said, or to the edge of the island? To the ocean, yeah. Oh, well, to the but, ocean. Yeah, okay. ba but with your communicators, Mage just has to press a button, and he knows where you're at. Oh, okay, that's even better. Yeah. Find my freaker, you know. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve, there's a there's an opening here that uh, pours out into the uh, to the ocean, and uh, looks like he had a. Uh, an escape already planned because uh he just so, took off in a fan liner so and, so uh, wes is saying it real calm okay elwood is going sergeant sergeant he just <laughs> took off <laughs> and i'm saying elwood i'm on my way to a veritech i got your location <laughs> okay uh, hey, so so you get to, you know, you're you're at your veritech okay and okay. you're talking with the the, the the maintenance people and you, you know you're the, the the fuzz is we wearing off a little bit now and you're like okay and they you know they go through whatever you know everything that they were supposed to go with and you're trying to do it fast because you're like yeah yeah guys that's great okay yeah yeah check 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 and he goes okay well last thing you know you're supposed to take off in it you know and, and fly it around for a bit mm -hmm. so you hop in the pilot like they're like it's ready to go you're in the cockpit and then boom on your thing Vanessa comes up and she goes, I've been monitor monitor monitoring uh, your communications. Elwood says that the guy's taking off, and we have confirmation on radar. He's headed, you know, uh, north, northwest what? at, at uh, you know, whatever coordinate. Move to intercept. Understood. I'm on my way. Don't pull the gear. I fire up my jets, and I start <laughs> heading that way. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so you jump in, boom, you hit launch, and you go. Head the way of the coordinates, man. All right, so you move to intercept. Your little beep comes up. He's moving at what? At, at the most 150, 160 miles an hour. Okay, so you're like, boom. And Wes, you look up to see a Veritech go, shoom. And hey, you're like, geez. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Mage, you're coming up on him, and you're above him like 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 this, and you see him flying. And now you guys are just open over water. I you guys are it. over open water. Over open water. I want to try to hit that uh, that actual fan jet, and let's try to take this guy down and have him eject. Okay. All right. So <laughs> so, what what? How are we going to make him eject? I assume we're not shooting a reflex missile at him, right? No. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also thinking about fan, uh, fan jet. I don't know what the speed is comparable, but uh, do you the jet could... doesn't really work. I mean, I could just follow him, but he knows I'm following him. Could you just <clears throat> pay, pace him in guardian mode and like grab him? <laughs> <laughs> fucking brilliant idea is what that is.
I don't know. I, I mean, is Guardian mode fast enough to uh, keep up with the fan liner if he doesn't, you know, drop the fan and go to Jets? He's a well, prop-driven plane. Right, and I assume that Rick probably had that custom made. You know, he was at, like... Uh, I assume this is, pimp, like, the one... Pimp My Ride kind of shit. You know, this guy probably doesn't have that. This is the one that they won from the Miss Macross competition. <laughs> You're right, right. I know, but I, the but I am model. thinking, like... Okay, so uh, what my, my initial <laughs> response was it to grab him out of the air, <laughs> which would have been so much cooler. <laughs> to grab him out of the air or shoot him out of the air? To grab him out of the air. Well, well, that's what Wes said, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just I don't saying. Even know like, if, you know, I'm just throwing stuff out there. I didn't even know if that's appropriate. Yeah, because I thought you had to oh, shoot his ass out of the air. Exactly, and yeah, that's why I say I, I'm sticking with the initial. Let's shoot him out of the air with the head lasers. I'm... Yeah, I'm trying to knock out the engines. Okay. Okay. Without killing him. <laughs> And hopefully he ejects, and then I can grab him out of the air. This ain't Star Trek, man. You can't target their weapons. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Target the shield array. What? Hey, man, I'm like Max and Miria taking out the Zentradi battle pods by knocking out the little section in their back leg. Oh. All right, Mage. So you are, the elbow. you are attacking. You can choose to defend even just in case. But it, it's to help give you synergy. You know what I mean? To give you more chances of a success. Even if you don't spend successes for defend. Okay. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? I do. You don't know what I'm saying. Who? You. I what? heard you get more dice, and that's a good thing. That's yeah, a great that's thing. That's all I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, uh, your, your Veritech is also a equipment suit. Okay. So mm, guardian yeah. mode, it gives you plus two. Ooh. Ooh. And okay. it doesn't count toward burnout. Okay. Cause, right, because your equipment is using it. Right, Right, because it's not you. It's a it's machine. He's not a machine. He's a man. <laughs> Again, I'm it's it's just happening. a man. <laughs> so See if there's no believe. support. There's no support phase. Actually, there is a support phase, okay? Um, Vanessa is punching up on her station and she goes, we've, she gives you all the coordinates she needs and she gives you two successes. Okay. Okay. Cause come on, you know, Lisa Hayes helped Rick how many times? Yeah. Like a billion. <laughs> so, so right now you've already got two successes. What are you using? What do you mean? How do I do this? Talk to me. Well, you're attacking him, right? Yep. And you're defending. But you don't really have to defend. You're just using the defense skill so that you can get synergy in the ops phase so that right. you can use more dice. So let's just say, what are you going to use for, for attack? Uh, Equipment-wise? No, no, no. Equipment, skill we know wise. what you're using. Skill-wise. Okay. Oh, sorry. I have to switch back over. Close quarters, right? He's not that close. Okay. I I would say counter position strafing run because you're not strafing trying run. to destroy him. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. And defense. Where's that? What skill? Oh, it's a skill, right? That probably would be counter position. Right. No. Counter position. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, so add those two skills up. What do you get? Seven. Okay. So and are two you for gonna, equipment? So are you going to go over the five for your burnout? Wasn't there the equipment use? Yes. Uh, so that's that's another two. But right now, because you could do what seven? No, I'd I take the nine. You could do yeah seven. You could do Oof. nine and go yeah. over on burnout. Oof. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no need. I already have two successes. <laughs> right. But you could so, so on the whole th the burnout thing, do you have to stay under that number or could you roll the maximum? Like if you if the burnout for me is five, can I roll five or and f six is the burnout or no no five is the burnout. You gotta keep it to four or less. No, no, five is the burnout. So you five can roll five. Oh, five. Oh, that's cool. That's Anything five above less. five. Okay. So then you should just take one less than your burnout and add the two equipment in. And add the two equipment in. 
Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. Which yeah. would be six total, right? Right. Should yeah, should take it like six. Yeah. Four plus two. Yep. Right. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. You're using you're using counter position, which is four. Yep. Close quarters, so that's six minus one plus two, seven. Seven to total dice with your equipment suit. Okay. You, you see what I'm saying? Four four for the one skill. For counter position. Two for the the strafing run. Oh, no, that's, that's three. Three, three for strafing. Okay, run. so that's, that's eight. Yep. So that's eight. So we've got to get under burnout for that. Unless you want to burn out, which is fine by me. No, I don't want to burn out. Okay, so no then, then, so then you go Fade back away. to so you go back to five right. to stay under burnout and okay. two for the equipment suit. Okay. Do it. I only have four die. So <laughs> you gotta roll twice. What? <laughs> what <kind> of- right? <laughs> Holy shit! No, don't even. Four sixes. Yeah. Don't even. <laughs> no bullshit. Four sixes. <laughs> the rolling gods are with me today. Okay. Roll t- Roll what? Two more? Three. Three more, right? Yeah. All right. Two fours and a two. So uh, four sixes. Dude's flying a warbler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mage. You come in and you shoot him, right? And you hit his wings, you hit his fan jet, everything but a critical, like, to blow up, you know, or to right. um, kill him. Yep. You you turn into guardian mode, because now you see him going straight down into the ocean. Turn into guardian mode, fly in and catch him. Catch him. And now you've got him. And we okay, fly. so so he's looking up at you, and you're looking down at him, and you're like, and you bringing him in. Nice. nice. I I uh, I uh, uh, well, I inform Wes, and and then I inform uh, Lisa uh, Vanessa. All right, so Wes, you're like hell yeah, you know, <laughs> and um, Go Vanessa Steve. Vanessa goes bring him in. So you guys bring him in, okay? Yep. I get my um, ass to the airfield. <laughs> so mage you land and like you know everybody in the know was there they grab this guy and they find out that his fan jet was actually a nuclear weapon as well but he didn't okay. have time to arm it so they're able to disarm it they get him out of there and they go interrogate him okay Okay. So, uh, uh, so uh, you know, they, they, they restrict you back to quarters because you're still, you know, they, they're still slapping your wrist. You're in trouble. Fine. You're, you're a bad boy. I get it. Okay. But I eventually, eventually you guys get called to a meeting. They're like, hey, you know, on your, on your communications, they're like, report to conference room two. Okay. All right. So you well, guys get there. The uniform's back on. <laughs> <laughs> You guys get there. There's Maestroff. There- oh, wait, wait, wait. On the way over there, I'm like, fucking Wes, did you see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> man, dude, you were totally in guardian mode. That's us, man. <laughs> That's That's us. Us. I don't know how many regulations. <laughs> you track them down. I shoot them up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, baby. <laughs> so you guys get to, to, to conference room two, okay? okay. Maestroff is there. Some other schmuck is there. And Global is there, okay? Oh. And the so you guys, key. he's like, you know, have a seat. You know, he's smoking his pipe and he, he sits down and you guys sit down and he goes, okay, so first of all, I want to congratulate you <laughs> in his Russian accent, which is <laughs> mine was horrible. And he says, um, so is his I want to invite you to eat some Count Chocula. Gentlemen, yes. <laughs> I invite you to take a seat. That's way better. That's way better. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> so he tells you, sit down, you know, and he, he says, we couldn't get anything out of this guy. And he must have had a suicide pill on him because after the first interrogation treatment, he was dead. But we've got the coordinates. And we flew a cat's eye recon over and managed to find that island from those coordinates. And there is power signatures coming from there. So 
we think this is the last strong attempt from the anti-unification movement. And we're going to attack. And we'd like you guys to go in. Absolutely. Okay. So he yes. goes, so he's like, great. I thought you would. And then he was like, so, um, so basically he says six, um, sea sergeants mm. are going to be sent in. Each sea sergeant has a team of three, two soldiers and one jungle expert because this island is about yeah. three miles circum, you know, or not circumference. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Perimeter. Perimeter. Sure. The, yep. the, the big one, right? You said so, the same thing. Both of the same. <laughs> so, right, right. So the island is th three three miles like wide, but it's so that makes it like big, you know? Yeah. yeah. Big ish. So um, six six sea sergeants. All of them are going to come in, and each one has three soldiers, one jungle expert, two soldiers. Okay. Eighteen so, troops total. Right. Yeah. So you guys are like right on. So you guys arm up with kits, okay? A jungle, or, or first you have a demolition kit, jungle yeah. survival, survival, survival kit, okay, and rifles, okay? okay. Wow. So you guys get in, and oh, we're going in on the choppers with them. Yes. Yes. Oh. You're you're part of the attack team. We couldn't be like we couldn't fighter jock it in there. That's too bad. Well, they thought about that, but the problem is there's a lot of people on Macross Island going on. They want to make this as quiet as possible, okay? okay. So we're going in on uh, 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 the sea sergeants, okay? Nice. Got the sea sergeants? Yes. That's a, is that a sea sergeant? That's a sea sergeant. That's not a sea sergeant. Wes, you're right. That's a Comanchero. That's a Comanchero, yeah. Sea Sergeant looks like a like a looks like a Sea King. Wait, no, 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 right here. Look at Sea 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 Sergeant. They've definitely misidentified that, or I've been thinking the wrong thing for my entire life. Okay, well, you know what. Yeah, it's a Comanchero then, because the Sea Sergeant is a general helicopter. purpose helicopter as opposed to the Comanchero, which was first used in the Global War. It became the standard attack helicopter. I would say this mission calls for an attack helicopter. This bad boy right here, I think, is the... Do I have a photo? I Show it, Wes. Show it, Wes. God here dang it. Go. Here we go. Coming up. Let's go... Uh... I love LA. <laughs> there you go. You need to. You'll have to put that up so that the uh, the viewers can see it. But that is that's a sea sergeant. You're right. Yeah. And when you're right, you're right. And you, you're always right. No, <laughs> no, no. My wife would tell me that that is plainly false, and I would agree with that. <laughs> would you oh. let him space balls you? <laughs> only if we get to go to plaid <laughs> so you guys you guys the the day comes okay it's a bit so now it's about three days out to the launch of the sdf1 okay <sighs> security has been super tight there hasn't been any more crazy activity you know anything weird you guys get onto your your come come in cheros and take off okay so there you guys are flying in formation six total choppers you guys got this crazy hippie dude right and he's like big old yoked dude and he looks back at you guys and he's like okay guys uh you know um so i'm your jungle expert every one of those other people have a jungle expert the soldiers we're yep. going in you know um high, we need high ground we don't sleep on the floor because of course there's bugs all kinds of bullshit and you just follow my lead and we're gonna you know we'll we'll get we'll make this happen, okay? And he goes, and one thing. All right. I get the final kill, okay? Ha ha ha. And he slaps Mage on the shoulder. He slaps you, Wes, on the shoulder, and he's all, no, no, just kidding, but I'm not. Ha 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 ha. You know, and he's just 
you guys, both of you don't like him. Like, when you guys look at each other, you don't hate him, but you don't like right. him. Like, this, this is not some guy you hang out with, wow. you know? Right. right. If uh, Ben Dixon was a sociopath. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you guys hear on the, the, the pilot's radio, and he goes, you know, okay, approach, uh, visual in two minutes, two minutes. Okay, visual, we've got visual. So, you guys look, and you see it, and man, it is one big thick jungle ass island okay yeah and you guys are like whoa and then uh one of the pilots goes wait we've got some kind of activity and all of a sudden uh, you can see on the front of the from the pilots from their their console you can see these red squares lighting up all over the island and all of a sudden, these little red orbs start say, launching. I, I, I'm a pilot. Uh, do these <laughs> appear to be Sam's? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So all of a sudden, all a whole bunch of red orbs start coming up. Okay. So they start, you know, they, they take ev evasive maneuvers. You know, launch, launch, launch. So flares go out. The, the, the helicopters try to spread up. So you guys look and you see one one helicopter get hit by some Sam's. And it actually pushes it into the next helicopter. They oh, both explode. Shit. Okay. Okay. You guys look up. Another one gets hit. And another one. It goes down into the water. And so the guy's like, sit down, sit down. So uh, the, the, the jungle guy, he looks at you guys. And he's like, oh, my God, this is the shit. Hang down. You know, hang on, guys. Hang on. And you guys strap in your seats. And all of a sudden, boom, your, your We're hit. Uh, helicopter shakes. And then you hear the, the pilot go, Super 6 is going down. We're going down. Super 6 is going down. And the, the tail rudder is destroyed. So you guys start to do that spin, 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 spin. Boom. You hit the ground. Blackout. Wow. We'll stop there. Nice. Oh, cliffhanger. The fucking, the end by the door starts playing. <laughs> <laughs>